what's up guys thank you back to the channel uh, before we continue uh, please make sure that you click that subscribe button please also like if you like uh, the video if you enjoyed it and then uh, let's continue so the uh, video that I'm making today is a, is a video that actually a few people have requested um, from the from social media like for example Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and places like that is that they wanted to see uh, the walk like a walkthrough um, of my 20ZX that is a FJ, that's called FJ20 ET engine in it. So uh, let's not waste any further time and let's continue so that I can show you guys what my 20ZX is all about. Okay, so here in the engine bay we've got basically, uh, we start from the uh, fuel system side, we've got our uh, aeromotive uh, fuel pressure regulator, the injectors is still the normal size, injectors I haven't uh, really changed that, the engine as well I didn't open it up, it's still the normal FJ20 ET engine, um, then we are running a GT35 uh, turbo with bigger intercooler pipes, obviously with a dump valve, and then as well, um, I think it's a S13 or S14 radiator, uh, it's really really nice as it does uh, help a lot with the cooling. Um, I know the radiator pipes looks a bit sketchy but I still want to do that so they can uh, remake it. It's just that I used it for temporary um, so the cooling system works. But otherwise in that, that's about it in the engine bay. And then the plans for the engine uh, soon is that I would like to get a smaller ball bearing turbo as a, the GT35 is a bit big so it only starts boosting at a higher RPM than I would have liked it to be and then yeah I would like to build the bottom end and then as well uh, bigger injectors, bigger throttle body the intake I'll still keep it for now and then the fuel rail would also like to uh, change that as well and then intercooler for the turbo I would as well um, like to put a bigger intercooler but that will still happen with time and then yeah so from there we are done well, let me show you the inside of the So here from the inside as you can see I'm uh, running Evo bucket seats and as well with Evo uh, four point harness and then from there I'm running a, a Sparco steering wheel and then I'm using the auto gauges um, from the left all the way from the left to the right so we start from the right I've got the water temperature gauge there and if you can see it then I've got obviously my ref counter my speedo and then AFR air fuel ratio gauge and then from there we've got our uh, oil pressure, we've got um, your voltmeter and then also I've got my boost gauge. Then I'm running everything, I'm running from this uh, switch panel but it's not going to last long because I want to exchange this whole fuel um, switch panel back to the ignition key. Um, cause now here yeah, it's your management and your gauges then obviously it's your engine start you have got one fuel pump, I've got another fuel pump and I've got my fan and then this one I'm, I'm not using it yet but yeah I would like to put everything on the ignition so it works easier from there um, and then as well when I open up here I've got my uh, management system I'm currently using Dictator 
uh, if you can see there's the Kata management system and yeah um, still a few things that I would like to do inside of the car I want to do the rewiring of the roof so that uh, roof lights can work again on the the doors when you open up the doors and when you switch it on and off as well and then as well what I would like to do is I want to do the wiring for the mirrors as I've removed, removed the wiring due to that it was complete mess up so I decided I'll do everything myself so I removed all of the wiring from the car and um, so I'm going to start fresh for that I'm also going to put this panel back but I want to put in a radio at least with some one or two speakers um, I know we, I'm not supposed to because it's uh, building the car for racing but still just for the luxury of having it um, I would have that installed as well and then uh, yeah so uh, the inside is actually quite almost done there's not really a lot of things to be done inside of the car but yeah it's almost soon i'll be done and then yeah as you can see as well uh, the reason why this panel is not on here is because i want to figure out the wiring um like i've mentioned before i've removed the wiring inside of the car so we just like to figure out how to wire the windows so the windows uh, once again can work on um with the switches so that it can close because at this current stage my windows cannot even close that's why the car it's working as uh, being closed with uh, the cover so that because the, uh, the reason being is because of the windows that cannot close and then from here we'll go to the fuel system <music> the fuel cell it's 80 liter fuel cell then from there it's running down uh, to two filters if i'm not mistaken i think it's 100 micron filters uh yeah it's 100 micron uh, mic 100 micron filters then from there it's going to two pumps uh one pump is pumping uh, 380 liters uh, per hour and then from there it's being pumped into this three liter uh, fuel surge tank and then again from there it's being pumped um, from here to the engine and then once the engine goes through a return um, the fuel that's not being used it gets being pumped back in here and then when this thing is all completely full um, it basically comes back with this return all the way down and it goes back into the fuel surge tank and then as well I've got my battery box here um, it's open now due to that um, the car is not running every day so I'm keeping it on charge and then as well what I would like to do at the back still I've got covers and I've got to put this side and that side as well so um, yeah, if I put that covers back it will all be look, looking uh, good clean and nice and you know it will look presentable again but I like the red but like I said I'll like to get it back to like a factory set it um, the way it looked just with but a lot a lot more um, aggressive styling um, things for the for the engine bay and then once we go outside this is where most of the work still is left still a lot of things that I have to do um, I, I'm still busy with the bodywork just that I don't have enough time to um, finish up with the bodywork but in any way so yeah oh, we are busy with the uh, body filler so we must just make sure that the car all of the, the dents and what what is out and then I will be taking that in but before I finish up with the bodywork what I would like to do I would like to get uh, 50 more spaces in the front and as well as at the back uh, due to that um, the rims that goes on the front that looks the same as that can't fit because the offset on that rims is 35 and then as soon as you put it all on the wheel catches the the shock so it can't um it doesn't fit so i'd like to get spaces and then uh, the rims would fit and then once the rims is on with the 50 mil spaces this wheel will basically come out uh this much and then when it's that much out i want to take it in so they can i don't know maybe roll the fenders or build like a nice kit 
so that she's a bit wider um, at the back and then as well I don't know if you guys remembered but I was I've been installing this um, spoiler a long time ago I do have a video where I've installed this um, the spoiler uh, but yeah I still want to do a few things put some foam in here so that it's a lot more stiffer and then close this gap up as well um, the brakes is still the, the normal brakes is still on I would love to put, put um, eight port calipers um, on the front and at the back and then even the shocks it's still the normal shocks I would like to put coilovers maybe KW or BC coilovers or just anything that can handle it and then in the front I would like to put a angle kit as well so that when I go to the track and drifting um, I've got more angle that I can use um, once I'm going sideways and then as well what I still have to do I have to do wiring for the lights for the front and at the back but I don't want to do the front yet because I want to exchange this last round one these there's that nice LED um, uh, lights that I'm looking for so I'll save up for them first and then I will buy them and then do the wiring for the lights as well as the wipers the wipers also needs to be done um, I do have still have the motor for the wipers I just have to fit them and then uh, wire these ones as well and then I wanted, wanted to say when I informed you guys about the wiring for the um, switch panel in the front what I want to do at the back is I want to install one big um, solenoid like maybe like 120 amp or something like that then I'll just fit it here so what's going to happen is going to be from the positive it's going to go through a fuse and then into the 120 amp solenoid and then from there it's going to give this thing permanent power um, as things are currently running from here to the front and then all the way to where its destination is so yeah it's it's a long route so i'm gonna put that uh, solenoid in here and then give this thing permanent power and then what's gonna run on this is whereby the pumps all four pumps is gonna come on at, at the same time with the management and also with the gauges and then what i will do is the starter obviously will go to the front and then the one for the fan I'll, the fan i'll put on the switch for itself um, due to that I don't have uh, a thermostat so I don't know if anything to, to tell the fan when to switch on and what not and then I will be able to run everything with the ignition and then the the rest of the lights like for example the lights inside and out as well as the mirrors and the motor for the windows and as well as the lights like you said from inside I'll put it in its own separate uh, fuse holder because the car originally has got a fuse holder here underneath so I'll use this fuse holder um, for everything else like I said the lights and things that's coming inside but yeah guys that's uh, basically it um, just showed you now what my list sound looks like was I've been just tempting you guys just showing you for example pictures and videos of my gauges and like the fuel system and the engine so I haven't really talked to you guys about what's actually going on in the car what the full car looks like you guys don't really know the progress and set. if you watch all my videos from the beginning then you would know uh, what's going on with the car but there's a lot of things that I've been planning now for 2021 um, I know to, 2000, to be honest with you, 2018, 2019 and the beginning of 2020, let's say until June, um, I've been really lazy with my YouTube channel and I know it's wrong because I mean you guys are following me and subscribe to me. So you also would, um, would like to see the progress that I am uh, with the car and how far I am. But yeah, all of that is definitely going to change as I said. Um, I've got much a lot of more uh, motivation and you know what for you guys just knowing you guys are following me to see the content that I'm creating and to see my car and you know to get me on the track or at the dyno or at a car show or anything it really means a lot to me so I will be making more videos for sure 
but just a quick hint for you guys i don't know if i'm supposed to do this but i'm going to tell you guys that um i've got a few videos that's going to come up uh, really shortly um i've want to i've got a video where i want to make uh when I, i'm going to take the car to the dyno so we're going to make a video there i'm going to show you guys what's going on there then I'm, as well i'm going to change the exhaust um, of the car that i'm super excited about and then there's a few things in the car um, with the wiring and stuff like that also what i'm going to show you guys but yeah everything that i'm going to do to the car anything that i'm going to do i'm going to show you i'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make videos i'm going to show you like i said i'm a lot more focused on my youtube channel now um the only thing that i'm asking you guys is that if you can please uh, be patient with my videos i know some of you um well not you guys but i've lost a few subscribers due to that i can't make videos like every day um i am currently working for retail so um making videos for me is quite difficult it's not as easy only when i'm off so when i'm off i try to push myself to make as many content as many videos as possibly can but um yeah hopefully one day i can become a full-time youtuber but yeah that can only happen with you guys uh, support and and uh, your opportunities that you guys give me to be able to continue but uh, i really do enjoy making videos for you guys um as well as getting like subscribers i love it thank you for that if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe in any way so i'm really stoked i'm, I'm excited there's a lot of things that's going to happen um, and yeah but what I want to tell you guys that's actually close to my heart is that um, the, in this week I spoke to someone, one of the subscribers that has been subscribed to my channel um, he came to me and we've been talking and um, he's been asking my help and as well as I've asked him my help as well and you know that feeling of um, someone that is watching you and actually coming to you to speak to you and say listen I like what you're doing um, I've, you've got great ideas but how did you do this or how did you do that it's it's super inspirational it's I don't know how to describe it it's like I don't know I really don't know how to, how to, how to describe how it feels it's really 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 a great feeling um, to know that people actually actually supporting me they're actually watching my content but yeah guys um like i said we're gonna go to the dino soon and then after that we will make some plan to go to the track or even here in town just drive around you know have some fun i also bought a new gopro as you can see it's right there so wherever i go um i will be taking maybe someone with me to see their reactions or whatever and yeah but the most important thing i can't wait until it's done um, so that we can go to the track um, to a drift event or drag events or any event and then as well as shows and to go and meet you guys there and uh, just being able to have a good conversation and just, just talking about things or even just hanging out so but yeah I don't want to waste your time um, too much um, but yeah the, the biggest thing that I wanted to say is thank you guys for your support and your motivation it's really been uh, meaning the world to me and uh, yeah I really hope I can influence a lot more people to watch my content and support me so that I can grow and uh, give you guys better content and knowing what you guys would like to see what you don't really like but yeah thank you very much guys for watching if you've watched the full, full video thank you very much um, please do click on the like button at the bottom if you have enjoyed the content and then please comment if there's something you would like me to do that you would like to see for me to make a video of to show you guys and then as well if you haven't subscribed yet please do make sure that you also subscribe and also click the bell icon so you can be notified every time when i upload a new a video so yeah guys it's uh, past christmas so merry christmas to you guys and then also we are now in 2021 so happy new year to you guys um make the best of what's coming Remember, if there's 365 days in a year, that means you've got 365 opportunities um, to do something that you love or to accomplish something. When you grab an opportunity, when you get an opportunity, make sure you grab it with both hands. Then I want to thank you guys. Enjoy your day. 
Happy New Year. God bless. Cheers, guys. Enjoy. I can fly